with Brian and Scott during the, the students. Private access, and it's a, an app that helps connecting people in need with the things they need. And uh, just a rundown of what we're going to go over. It's, uh, we're going to go introductions, what is Broward Access, the facts, technologies and architecture, what makes Broward Access different, future features, and the demo. All right, so my name is Brian, and right now I'm an electrician up in Boca, but I uh, joined 4Geeks Academy to become a software developer. I've been trying to do it on my own for a while now, and I. I think 4Geeks kind of helped me put everything together, helped me build some cool things, and um, I think I'm ready to go. I'm Scott. I manufacture keyboards in my bedroom, and I sell them online. And since I have a website, I figured I'd be able to develop that website further. Uh, the end goal is automated uh, keyboard layouts that you can just create yourself and place an order for. I joined 4Geeks because I wanted to develop these applications for this web interface. So Broward Access is a website that compiles locations for users of Broward's provided resources. So if somebody's homeless, they access Broward Access to take the resources that are available and connect them to the people that need to use them. It's community supported, which is one of the key characteristics. So users who have a location in mind and they want to upload it to this compilation of resources can load up the location. Other users can load up their location and it's shared between everyone. The other key feature, the other key feature is that when a user wants a particular category or resource, they can simply select the category and it will automatically filter out all of the other unnecessary resources so they can immediately see an overview of everything that they need. All right, so the facts. So right now there's about 32,000 homeless people in Florida, 2,300 of them specifically just in Broward County. Uh, South Florida in general is kind of a hub for the homeless in Florida. Uh, due to the tropical climate and dense population. Uh, it's just to generally just easier to be homeless in South Florida, for good or for worse. Um, Broward County and themselves actually put a lot of resources into uh, providing help for the homeless. Uh, $21.6 million per year. Um, <clears throat> so our goal is Okay, so Broward County is taking a housing first approach, which is uh, regardless of the sobriety or uh, location in life that the homeless are in, the main goal is just to provide them a house, permanent solution for uh, living. So our goal is to provide a, a technology that helps them find uh, those locations. All right, so the technology behind it. Uh, the front end was built in React.js, which is a, a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Uh, a big part of React is components. You can kind of think of them as Lego blocks that you build and you put together. And you know, you build an image card or a, a carousel. You can build it once and reuse it throughout your site easily and uh, pretty simply. And then we also, for the resource map, use Google Maps API which you can kind of take the basic template of Google Maps and customize it with your own styles, markers, locations, sizes, whatever you want. For the back end, we used Python and Django. Django is a framework that allows you to, uh, well, for what we used it for specific to this website is as an API uh, framework. What we do is, the, when a user logs in, for example, they provide their login information, and the website needs to do something with that. What we do is we take the login information, send it to an authorization endpoint that provides a token. This token is like a little card, essentially, that lets the user request resources from the website. For example, a list of locations, or a specific location, or changing location, saving, updating, all of that. Uh, without having to put in their login information every single time they want to change. Uh, what makes Broward Access different 
uh, than any other map resource is if you use, let's say, traditional Google Maps to look up, hey, I want to find uh, food, um, it will find every kind of food, not just something specific to a, uh, somebody who, who doesn't have the money uh, to be able to get a hold of that. So by combining all of these different options into one spot, you can just one click filter out exactly what you need. So if a user is aware of this specific site, then they don't have to worry about trying to figure out where these things are. There's a social aspect as well. The website has not only physical locations for, uh, sorry, not physical, but permanent locations for buildings that can provide resources, but you can mark off events. So there'll be time-based locations for a specific thing that might be happening. So for example, a job fair. Compared to other sites, uh, wait, I already covered that. <laughs> no site? Yes. All right, so future features. Uh, for the user-created event locations and events, we're going to kind of add a voting system to it. Typical to, if you think of ways for their events you can create, you can kind of upvote it or downvote it. And so that way it kind of weeds out the unhelpful or outdated uh, locations. We're also going to add uh, Google Routes, so when a user finds a location, they can easily get directions uh, or transit information to get there. Uh, we're also going to add location-specific URLs, which is just basically for each location, you're going to have an individual page, so you can easily share that and uh, get more information on that specific location. Okay, so we're going to show you the site now. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Yeah, it okay. works. <laughs> there you go. We tested it. It works. <laughs> With the link. All right, so this is the landing page. Uh, the top, the resources you need on one site. The mission is to provide all citizens in Broward, Broward County who are struggling with low income or homelessness an accessible and easy way to find the help they need. So then you have uh, three info cards for just quick resources or external links. One just takes you to the map that should, well, you will help, help you find a shelter or a meal. Uh, then there's also in Broward County, they have a homeless hotline that you can call and actually speak to a representative to get help and they'll help you guide you through how to uh, get into a shelter or food pantry. There's also a, a homeless survival guide that the sheriff's office has released. So we have links to both of those. Um, underneath that, we're going to have a scrolling carousel of local news, uh, anything that's related to the homeless. So, for example, the one that's there now is how they're taking a new approach to social services, not jail. So, uh, avoiding just sending people to jail and criminalizing homelessness, or the, how they're building a daytime center. And then there's a resource, the resource map at the bottom of the landing page just tells you how to use it, um, how to log in, how to create an account. So you can go to the resource map, and you can use the resource map without being logged in and still view the locations, but we can log in so we can get the full effect of it. The purpose of logging in is so that you can have saved locations, and the permissions for viewing a map are different than the permissions for editing a map. So a user who wants to see all the locations can do that without having to make an account. But if a user wants to add locations or edit them, they need to log in. Yeah, so when you log in, you can see that the profile tab appears and then the login button changes to log out. Okay, so now, if you're specifically looking for shelters, there's filter buttons on the top so you can filter out the unwanted and just look at shelters or food or clothing or the user-made events. And when you're, if you find something you need, you can click on it and you'll see the info on it, where to find it, how to, how to call them, how to get there. And uh, if you like an event, you can save it to your profile. And then if you go to your profile page, you can see all your saved locations and all the locations that you added yourself. Um, if you would like to add a location, you can see at the top it says to add a new location. You click and hold for four seconds on the area you want to add the marker, enter the information, press save. So if you, wanna, if you heard about a soup kitchen in Pine Island Ridge, you click and hold for four seconds. 
and then an info window will come up and ask you to fill it in. I'll just do an example now. So then, so then when you save that, you can see in your profile that it's added to the bottom of your locations you've added. And it's also available on the map for anyone else, any other user to see and interact with it. And then when you're done, you can just log out. And then, oh, anything else? Oh, then there's also the resource page, which is just an extra, all the external resources and links will be there. Uh, this is the homeless survival guide that Broward put out that gives you information on how to find a place to get your social security card, ID, jobs, etc. So you could picture a pamphlet like this might have Broward Access listed somewhere on it. Yeah, ideally. <clears throat> so that's about it for the demo. Pretty much, yeah. Covers all the features. Okay, uh, the hardest challenges uh, for me on the front end would probably be getting used to the Google Maps API and also uh, hooking up everything to the back end was also a challenge, but it's one of those things that once you kind of learn how to do one thing, the next thing always gets easier, so. I can second that. At the beginning when I was trying to learn about how JWT or, or JSON web tokens work and how you made use of them and what you did with them, uh, at first, it was completely incomprehensible because there was a lot of information about what they are and how, and sorry, what they are and what you do with them, but not the details of, of how you'd put that to practice. So why it would work on a real website, it was kind of hard to find. But when it clicks into place, you instantly understand the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, any questions? I, I love the concept. I thought about it a while ago, so I won't let you guys want to know that it. What made you think of it? Uh, on a project, right? All him. Yeah. Idea. Well, my, my girlfriend's an occupational therapist and she works at homeless shelters in, Bo in Broward. So she would always talk about how crazy it is that she has like lists long of resources and no one ever heard of them. So it, we thought it would be pretty ideal to just put them all together and make it easy for everyone. Because that's like the, the key is just make it as simple as possible. You don't have to have <coughs> seven different websites to tell them to go to. I know the Google Maps API and they customized it and it's kind of cross-sourced. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to do with it? Yeah, she use it? Uh, I mean, yeah, she's she can spread the help spread the word for me to, once we get it completely polished and finished. But that's the next step, I guess. As it is now, it's it's for a portfolio demo. But uh, if we polished it up, it would actually be usable. Mm -hmm.